Hi, my name is Andrew Meinzer of Meinzer Law Firm, and what I'm about to tell you is based on current California law. So you were very responsible, you hired an attorney, and you signed your trust. Congratulations, you've taken a very important step. So now what do you do? The answer is fund, 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 and it's super important. Let me explain. Through your trust, you've named people to receive your assets after your death, and you've named people to manage your assets for your benefit if you cannot do it anymore in the future for some reason. Now, we need to make sure that all of that will happen. The words of the trust document apply only to assets that you fund or transfer into your trust. Funding your trust and transferring assets into it are the same thing. You do it by changing the owner of each asset from your name outright to your name as trustee of the trust. For example, a bank account owned by John Smith would need to have the owner changed to be John Smith trustee of the John Smith Trust, dated January 19th, 2022. Think of the trust as a moving van because essentially that's what it does. It moves assets from one place to another, from one person to another at different times. The trust document is like Google Maps, Waze, or any other way of providing directions. It tells the driver of the moving van where to take the assets. And the trustee of the trust is the driver of the moving van in this example. It would be silly to pay for a moving van to arrive at your home, to move all of your furniture to a new home, provide the driver with directions of where to take the furniture, and then send the driver to your new home with an empty moving van because you haven't put your furniture into it. And that's essentially what would happen if you don't change the owner of your assets from your name outright to your name as trustee of your trust. Another way to think of a trust is that it's a box that holds things. You're free to put things in the box by changing the owner of the assets from your name outright to your name as trustee of the trust. And you're free to remove things from the box by changing the owner of assets from your name as trustee of the trust to your name outright. Similarly, you could sell something like a house that's in the box and replace it with another house that you place into the box. And you do not need to change the trust document to move things in and out of it. I cannot overemphasize the importance of doing this. I have seen so many cases where a person had a trust, assets were not transferred to it, and a lot of the benefit of the trust did not happen, all because of that. Again, I'm Andrew Meinzer of Meinzer Law Firm. If you know you need our help with a trust or other estate planning, or if you just have a question, please contact us and let us take care of you.